Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we have good old Arc Royal, the newest tier 5 premium aircraft carrier uh, to be set out on the high seas, and I think you'll all agree this thing is like Spider-Man, it's a menace. You know what I mean? I'm J. Jonah Jameson out here, and the Ark Royal's a menace, guys. I'm, I'm just messing with you. But it is it is an incredibly strong uh, aircraft carrier. And one that, uh, if, you, if you like the British aircraft carriers and you like strong aircraft carriers, uh, this one may reign supreme up at Tier 5. Uh, you know, I think Ark Royal's been one of those most anticipated aircraft carriers carriers and it's glad to see it finally come to the game uh, of course it's famed for having the the torpedo for launching the torpedo uh, swordfish bo torpedo bombers um, the swordfish torpedo bombers that ended up uh, hitting Bismarck I think in the steering gear and you know helping sink it like that's she's famous for sinking the Bismarck so it's cool to see her in game unfortunate that she will never come up against her her fabled prey but that's okay because there is tons of prey for her to attack at the lower tiers like destroyers. Here we drop one of her carpet bombs and uh, we take two thirds of the health. Yep, that's right guys. Uh, carpet bombs are the name of the game. But before we get too deep into that, let's go ahead and talk about the commander. We're running Dennis Boyd with Space Fishy and Iona. Um, really trying to boost those those torpedo, uh, the torpedo speed because it is uh, lethargic, slow, and like a tortoise in the water to the point where some, I feel like I've had ships outrun the torpedoes. That's, that's how slow they are. Um, and then her, her real star is going to be her carpet bombs. Uh, there's a couple of things that set her unique from Furious. Furious, uh, you have, you have two ships or you have two planes that break off in each attack group. This, you get three. Um, and that means you get a multitude more bombs from what I can count at 16, but that doesn't seem right just because that number doesn't break up evenly between three. But whenever I freeze frame, I'm only ever able to count, uh, I'm only ever able to count 16 bombs, but either way, uh, you drop a shit ton of bombs and well, because they have such a, uh, just because there's so many of them, they have a very high chance of hitting. Uh, one thing to note compared to Furious, the bomb circle is a bit wider and a bit shorter um, than Furious. Furious, it's much more of a tall oblong shape. This one, it's a little bit more circular, not perfectly circular. It's not, it's not Graf Zeppelin, which I do prefer because this way it doesn't completely feel bad to drop the carpet bombs on someone when you're going perpendicular to them. Um, but you are still rewarded for going parallel um, and you still have a better hit chance when going parallel with these. So that's that's kind of the one thing. As far as stats of those bombs, they have a 29% chance to set fire, which, yes, is technically low for uh, airdropped munitions of the fire variety. You know, you look over at the U.S., it's close to 50%, and this is not that. But there are so many more bombs that you are getting fires nearly constantly especially when you are hitting some of the larger ships and you're just getting huge numbers of bombs on target. The damage they do, not a ton, 3,825. But once again, uh, I think you've seen so far just how we have uh, not decimated, but we have done a fair bit of damage to some of these destroyers. And these destroyers are very much hating life at, at the moment. Uh, so we've knocked out one destroyer there. Uh, and we're up to 22,000 and we're kind of on the prowl for our next target. So that's the, that's the, the HE bombers. Uh, what makes Ark Royal special is not only these HE bombers, but the fact that she can just print new ones constantly. So, uh, she's kind of like a tier seven Kaga where, uh, yes, the, the planes are a bit have a little bit less health than they usually do, and you send out a large number of squadrons of them, um, or a lar large number in each squadron, nine, um, with three in each attack group, but you're only looking at about a 50 second uh, cycle time, or 50 second refresh time on them. And what that means 
is uh, you are able just just to keep putting them out, just to keep, uh, you know, even when you lose them, you're not really in any true danger of running, of being deplaned. Even like, as you've seen here, we've almost stuck exclusively to, or we have ex stuck exclusively to the to the carpet bombers and we still have ha we still have nearly a full squadron back at base like uh you know even though we've even though yes we've lost a good number of ships we are still maintaining enough to keep ourselves combat effective even into the mid game where usually you'd either a want to be pre-dropping or b want to be cycling between the two types of of munitions that you have and here we're just not having to worry about it as we go and attack some of these to attack uh, the as we go and attack like that just kind of what Arc Royal does uh, also I should probably say as you, I'm sure you've noticed this isn't really a traditional review usually we don't really do the aircraft carrier reviews just because I'm not a huge aircraft carrier player I do really enjoy the British aircraft carriers and uh, having Arc Royal who has just such strong potential um it's definitely fun like this is one of those ships where uh, if i wasn't a cc um arc royal would be on the short list come black friday week come when there's some deals on ships arc royal would be one of the ones that i i would consider about purchasing that is and yeah it, it is incredibly strong i think uh one thing you do need to note though is uh you know we do these ships can be nerfed now so you could see this ship end up getting nerfed in the long run but we will just have to see uh we finally took out the torpedo bombers i know it's a miracle uh so the torpedo bombers very similar to the carpet bombers in the fact that you get three uh three drop munitions um and they maintain the wonderful british torpedo firing angle um and by that i mean what they do is at the longer you hold uh they kind of converge in and i absolutely love these torpedo firing angles just because uh what you can do with them uh, if you want you can attempt to go kind of nose in on a battleship and if they don't want to kind of move out of the way uh you can you can do some decent damage especially because usually the nose of the battleship doesn't have the torpedo belt and therefore has a higher chance of flooding and it has a higher chance of uh of just doing full damage. Fubuki gets caught right here and we were not prepared for that. So we'll go ahead and drop the torpedoes. I think we make one more uh, return run, but then we ultimately end up flipping back over to the HE bombers. Cause yeah, the HE bombers, that's that's where it's at, especially when going after destroyers. Uh, as far as the game goes right now, we are sort of in, in dire straits. Uh, we are slightly up on points, which is good, uh, but, uh, three ships remaining on each side and we only have two destroyers remaining i'm like oh that should be good but we have to remember who the other aircraft carrier is uh the other aircraft carrier is a fellow arc royal and well we've seen just how effective uh arc royal can be up against destroyers so uh we're gonna go ahead and start trying to pick off this fubuki here um because one he's definitely kind of pushing towards us and we do need to be worried i'm i'm just trying to kind of steer clear and try to position myself near c so that maybe i can go for a cap a little bit later but uh also just trying to knock out this fubuki and as you can see we drop just a little too uh just a little too late but we still get a decent hit with three bombs we pick up the confederate right there um as far as arc royal goes i i do really really enjoy this ship she is an incredibly strong ship um and she's incredibly strong down at tier five now is this something we needed down here at tier five eh, probably not pro pro probably probably not uh it it does feel uh like i said i do feel like she may end up ultimately seeing the nerf hammer but i will be enjoying her for her time being just because uh even if they do end up nerfing her and bringing her a bit more in line, I think her unique traits, a bit wider of a bomb drop circle, um, having three planes, the regeneration time on them, like 
I think what they may ultimately end up doing is maybe they adjust that regeneration time. But even then, if you're playing as a smart aircraft carrier, you're not really seeing the loss. Um, you're not really seeing too many or you're not really having to take into account for that very often. Um, and if you did change up your play strategy for that, I think you would still ultimately end up being okay as we totally bracket that damn Fubuki. Um, so even, even if this ship ends up getting the nerf, I think in the long run, you'll end up being okay just because uh, it's base traits and what it offers different from Furious. And Furious was already one of my favorites down here. Um, is still strong enough to kind of compete at. And there we go. We just missed one. This is this is where the RNG... We, we had that excellent RNG all that other time. And this is this is where it's catching up to us now as we, as we try to uh, prevent this Fubuki from, you know, dumping torps and just straight sinking us. Uh, as you can see, we are not at optimal angles, but we do finally take him down. And with that, it's like, okay, time to charge on in. Let's try and uh, take out this Budione and save our last destroyer. Not that he has much to live because the enemy also has an Ark Royal and uh, we've seen just how effective they are. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think Ark Royal, in incredibly strong. You're going to see it. Uh, you're, you're going to see it rain very much supreme at at tier five and even with some of the strong anti-aircraft builds out there um i think those are even going to struggle up against her uh especially like i've seen some just nasty hits on california just because some of the anti-aircraft ships out there ultimately are designed to sort of be countered by arc royal right uh he fire does disable anti-aircraft mounts uh, ships like the California, they have that huge superstructure where all the AA mounts are mounted, which means you, if you come up against one, you can just dump truck it. Like, and because of your regen time, you can go ahead and just straight up eliminate it. And, you know, oh no, I can't use my bombers for a couple minutes um, while I use the torpedoes. Like, there, there is, uh, there is some very strong uh, plays to be made with Arc Royal and even against uh, fellow CCs. I feel like we'll start get, feeling the wrath of the enemy CC or of the enemy uh, CV relatively shortly here. Um, and you will see that uh, she is uh, because, because of the HE bombs, you can just get massive hits on enemy CVs. Do I recommend the good old CV sniping? Like, I feel like it could maybe be viable. Um, I think there are a couple of rounds where the, the, my ultimate strategy was like dump two sets of, try to dump one set of one or two sets of bombs on an enemy. And then if I'm in the area of the CV, just, just drop them a little love tap on, on the way to say, Hey, I'm right here. Um, and just kind of whittle the health down just a little bit. We can see enemy CV playing it smart, going for the cap. Uh, and this is actually going to ultimately end up costing us the game. But uh, we can see a preview of the sort of damage you can do. Um, and we weren't really lined up perfectly there. We end up getting the high cow. But yeah, guys, that's Ark Royal. Uh, incredibly strong aircraft carrier. Um, if, you, if, you like, if you like the British CVs, I think she's, right at this moment, the perfect one. Um, and you should get out there. Enjoy her. Uh, if if you have the disposable incomes to, to do so. I also understand we're about to get into gaming this season. I've been playing the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's about to be the spendy season and, you know, one, one ship is equal to the amount of a full game. So, uh, you know, with all that said, I really enjoyed her. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.